You've got to hold to his a hand. God's unchanging a hand. Oh, 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 to his hand. God's unchanging hand Build your hope on things eternal Oh, oh, oh to God's unchanging hand I wanted to give up today I wanted to give up today. I literally wanted to give up today. I wanted to quit everything. <laughs> and I wanted to go. I wanted to leave. I just wanted to get out of here and go somewhere. Nobody do me nothing. I just wanted to go. You ever felt like you were on the verge of... God doing something great in your life and sometimes you would feel so oppressed like the enemy tries to steal your joy want to take your joy away from you and you know you can't pinpoint what is wrong but you just feel like, hey, this is it. This is it. I, 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 I can't do it anymore. I can't go another step further. I just can't handle it anymore. Have you ever been that way? Yes, Antonio Ferguson. I know you've spoken to me a few times, Mr. Ferguson. Child, Mr. Ferguson, it's just like, sometimes I just wonder if Sister C ever existed. <laughs> people is hot like they don't know me no more but thank god for persons like you mr ferguson yeah but let me tell you something don't give up don't quit don't throw in the towel for nobody for nothing for nobody because it is at that moment just before your greatest breakthrough that the enemy he hurls his darts at you simply because he knows that you the purpose of what you've been born in the earth you all think do you all think that only the pastors or God knows what you are called to be in the earth the devil knows what you're called to do do he knows and his assignment his purpose is to do everything that he can to stop you, to hinder you, to block you, but you know that. And we have to recognize when God is doing something, when God is on the edge of a precip... Is that the word? Mr. Ferguson, help me with that word. I know you can't answer me. Precipice. When you are on the precipice of God doing a major miracle in your life, look for opposition to come look for it to come you have a choice you can give in or you can hold on and I had this awesome opportunity to make a choice today and the choice that I made was to hold on I've been waiting a long time and I think that is the most painful part of waiting on God when you're a public figure. When you're in the public eye, even though some people, for, you know, seems like, hey, don't act like you don't know me. You know, I'm a sister C from way back in the day and I'm still here doing what I do. But when you're in the public eye and you have a prophetic word hanging over your life. And it seems like it just don't want to come to pass. A lot of people like, hey, I think God taking a little bit too long for her. So I haven't even studied her no more. You know what I'm saying? 
But when you see things happening for other people, I don't even know what I'm saying tonight. I hope what I'm saying makes sense. When you see God doing certain things for other people, that's who you gravitate to. Oh, the blessing over this way. Woo! They blessed y'all. They anointed. They carrying on God coming true. But how many of you know that everything that glitters hmm, is not necessarily gold? Shoot. You thought it was 24 carat. You thought that was 10 carat. 10K. Ah, the devil gives gifts. And the reason why he gives gifts is because he want to hold you. He want to hold you. But I want to talk to you who've been waiting on the Lord for a long time for God to come through. I want you to hold on to God's unchanging hand and know that, hey, you do not serve a God who is slack concerning his promises to you. I don't care how long you were waiting on God. God is going to come through because he puts so much on his name. He puts so much on his name. And he watches over his word to perform whatever it is that he has ordained for your life and spoken into your life to do. So listen to me. I don't care how long you've been waiting. Do not give up on God. Lillard. Hey, Lily. Lily, you've been waiting on the Lord too, Lillard. God is going to come through, man. He's going to come through. And during some of the toughest times, uh, 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 especially in these times, what is happening in the earth, God is going to look out for his people. He's going to look out for his children. I believe that. I believe that because he got you covered. He got you covered. So don't mind the wait, baby girls and baby boys. Don't mind the wait. God is going to perform a miracle in your life. He's going to perform that word that he has spoken over your life. The obstacles, the bumps, the bruises in order to get to your destined place where God has called for you to be, what he has called for you to have, what he's called for you to do. It's been rough. But the wait, hey, it's going to be worth it all. Sometimes you look in the mirror and you don't look as young and you don't look as pretty as you used to and that makes a lot of women feel depressed but listen who cares about that what's more important is what's on the inside of you do you have joy do you have peace we let the small things stress us out so much but that inner joy and that inner peace is something that is so precious and something that we have to go after, something that we have to cover because it's the joy of the Lord is, that is going to keep you in this time. It's going to take you through whatever they forecast it is. You got joy. The world didn't give it and the world definitely can't take it away. So Sister C, Sister C, Minister Rose, Pastor Rose, you ain't got nowhere to go. Mr. Ferguson, hang in there. Lillard, shoot, nobody will stop you from going nowhere. Child, you'll be all over the globe. <laughs> this woman that God is so blessed. She is so blessed. And she don't even understand how blessed she is. But listen, y'all, man. I want y'all to be encouraged. No matter what the forecast says. King David... No matter what the forecast is, King David, blessings. No matter what they say is happening in this world, you have to remember that you are not of this world. You're just a pilgrim passing through and God has got you. He's going to take care of his own. I don't care how long it takes. God is going to take care of his own. And just wait. Let me try out go in this church. Mr. Antonio, thank you. Thank you. I will meet you in person because I look at your photo and I say, man, he look like a tug. Hey, Mr. Antonio Ferguson, I scared to talk to him, man. He look like a thug. <laughs> you got that look like so intimidating. I was like, wow, he giving me all this love tonight. <laughs> 
I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. But I've been hiding, y'all. I've been hiding. I didn't want to do any sort of public appearances. I didn't want to be out, out in the public anymore. But I believe that the Lord is shaking me out of that. He's shaking me. Mm -mm. I ain't call you to be in the closet, girl. I call you to be... Well, let me fix that. I didn't call you to be undercover. <laughs> y'all, let me fix that. I call you... To go into the highways and the byways. Anybody been in the highways and byways lately? My God, what have you done for Jesus lately? <sighs> I'm so glad you're a king on here. Um, let us just pray for one another, man. Y'all pray for me. Pray for me. It ain't my life ain't been easy. I, I, you know, I did a conference. Um, couple of weeks ago and Jesus I was supposed to preach and if y'all know me I, I think I can handle myself as a preacher I could preach you know my pastor say Charles you was preach like a man <laughs> that's what my pastor told me you was preach like a man it's like you could you could go side by side with a man preaching I was like Jesus and I couldn't preach Lillard I couldn't preach I cry straight through that message. Because <laughs> that was like the first time I was really publicly, publicly sharing my testimony. Some things I told those people, I never tell nobody. And I never thought that I would tell anybody. And I cried so much. And the Lord hand was on me strong. Tell them, tell them, tell them. Free yourself, free yourself, free yourself. Anyway, listen, look. I grin in this church. I grin in this church. I gotta bring greetings. I don't do lives. I don't even know what I'm doing on here. What am I doing on here? I don't do lives. I don't. I rather stay inside the comfort of the four, four walls of the radio station and just let y'all hear my voice because I don't like public appearances no more. I don't know. Y'all pray for me, please. Pray for me. I don't know. Maybe because from 19... Let me give y'all dates now. From 1994. 94? Come on, man. From 1994, I've been getting prophetic words about certain things happening in my life. This is 2022. Y'all, this, this, this wasn't easy. And being in the public eye... And after so long, like the manifestation ain't there yet. And people just disregarding you. Like, you ain't never, who you is? Who you is? I counsel some people from suicide many times. Lord Jesus. Anyway, I ain't pulling out no receipts. But I'm just saying, man. The enemy really wanted me to like do something crazy to myself today. But how many of you know that the enemy is defeated? He's defeated. I'ma delete this video. <laughs> I can't I can't leave this up. You needed to encourage somebody. Yes, yeah, somebody needs to be encouraged. Ah oh, Lord. And Lillard, I don't even know what I'm saying, though. And Lillard, you know I don't do no lie. Everybody on here know I don't do no lie. I go behind, I take pictures, and I go behind filters. And I just hide who I am, who I really am. And somebody gave me a message. I can't remember the lady's name. She said, God say, don't use the filters. I say, wait now, nah, hold on. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I mean, you're giving me a prophetic word and I don't understand what you're saying. What about the filters? What about it? What about it? No, no, she didn't say God said don't use the filter. She said, um, the, the, the filter, something about a filter. Y'all know what the filters are, right? I think I had a filter where it was like uh, a Hindu sort of thing. And some people got a little, little, you know, I was like, okay, I'm not going to despise you if you say God said that. But I, I, I did a lot of hiding of who I really am because I didn't want to 
get to a certain age and stage and still yet waiting on the Lord and that was a problem for me can I just free myself that was a problem for me but how many of you know that they that wait upon the Lord they shall renew their strength and and don't think that I talking but no husband now nah. I ain't talking but no husband I'm talking about a lot of things a husband might be in there somewhere but that's not that's not my biggest biggest thing that I'm waiting on for the Lord to do <laughs> but he's gonna do it he's gonna come through Lillard he's gonna come through let me just try and go in this this church I have to bring greetings thank you all for just being here you all encourage me too man pray for me pray for me please Vernita Gibson. Hello, Vernita. Vernita, girl, you could be my family because my name is, I'm a Gibson. I'm a Gibson as well. And we know that most of the Gibsons, they are descended from uh, P. P. Gibson, P. A. Gibson, Timothy Gibson, who wrote the national anthem. If you look in your genealogy, you are descended from him somewhere and the Gibsons are also um, descendants of the Queen she was the first black Queen of England do you know that Gibsons are from that royal age that, that I'm telling you for later Gibsons are from royalty they have a royal lineage but guess what even though they might be royal on the earth. We, as children of God, oh my God, we've got an inheritance incorruptible. We are from the royal seed. Oh my God, the lion of the tribe of Judah. My God, I feel Jesus out here. We have a seed that is incorruptible. Glory to God. <laughs> Jesus, Lord, have mercy. I feel in fire in this car right now. I don't know what's happening. But listen, don't you give up and don't you quit, man. I want to encourage y'all to stay, hang in there. I was doing a lot of crying today and I didn't know what I crying for. I was in there and I said, Jesus, God, help me. I'm asking God to help me. And I'm trying to figure out what, what you crying for. <laughs> Sometimes people with a prophetic anointing or gifting or they cry for certain things that has not happened yet things that are, that are, are, are to come little you a little prophetically yourself <laughs> they weep and do not they, 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 they're, they're, they're weeping and cannot pinpoint what they're weeping for and that is what God is calling for for the weeping and the wailing women just to weep before God and God has the innate power to even interpret your tears. When you moan and when you groan, he interprets your moaning and your groaning. He understands when you cry, you, your tears speak. Jesus, Lord, what has your tears been saying lately? What has your tears been saying to God lately? You can't understand why you're doing it yourself, but God can. Let me try and go in this church. Y'all, y'all, God bless y'all. Yeah, hang in there. Some things are going to happen. Don't let it. You're going to hear some stuff. You're going to hear, okay? I want you to read Matthew 24. And it talks about wars. It ain't no more rumor no more. The war going on. That's why the gas prices up and down so high. Hmm? It ain't no rumor. You get rumors, now you get the war. All kind of things are happening. But read Matthew 24. And just prepare yourselves. Prepare yourselves, man. Jesus coming. See all these fired, I mean police cars and sirens. What, what happened now? Oh, 
Jesus, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. Oh, God, let life be sustained, Lord. Not another death. Not another death, Lord. Lord, Rabashande, Saya. See why we gotta, women of God, we gotta get back on the wall. We gotta, we got to. Where are the, where are the weeping and the wailing women's? We gotta get back on the wall for this nation and for this country. We gotta do it, man. Too many people dying on the streets. Too many. I go on your. I think I'll try to do this some more. I don't know. I don't know this kind of thing, but I think I'll try to do it some more.